Hey everybody, okay, so uh, a couple things go over here real fast. Uh, first of all, next week, uh, I'm gonna be starting something called uh, Commentary Week, which is just exactly what it sounds like. It's a bunch of commentaries on my videos, because I haven't done them any in a while, and uh, I'm just wondering which ones do you guys really want to see. So, go to the comments below and uh, tell me which ones you'd really like to see. It's old or new or whatever, and uh, I'll talk about them. Uh, the second thing is that uh, this coming weekend, I got uh, Almacon, which is in Michigan, and, uh, you know, it's just next week, so I figured just give it a shout-out. A shout-out uh, address is right there. You can check it out. Uh, go ahead and see if that's something you want to go to. Little Karibo's going to be there, all sorts of good people, so go ahead, drop by, check it out. But that's not what you want to hear about. You want to hear about my thoughts on The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smog, because it has been so freaking long since, like, that movie's come out. And I only now, like, yesterday, finally got a chance to see it. It was like, and there's no showings for it. They're all, like, one showing a day or something. If I only found one movie theater showing, and we, we had a couple around. Um, so, uh, that's an interesting sign. Uh... And like I said, just a real impromptu thing because people have been asking, what do you think, what do you think? So this is just a fast video saying uh, what I thought about as well as getting some iron news out. Uh, the, the first film, if you don't know, I really like the first Hobbit, uh, despite the fact I know it's, you know, not the most focused and not really a big grand epic or anything, but I really like it. Uh, because I always said it's like the Fellowship of the Ring I felt I never got, because I felt Fellowship was supposed to start off like a really small story that got bigger and bigger and bigger until it turns into the grand epic. Uh, but I never thought they got the small stuff right. It was edited too fast, there were a bunch of weird close-ups and stuff, so I really liked The Hobbit. This was the first time I felt like I could just relax in Middle Earth and enjoy it and enjoy the Shire and enjoy the people, and, and I greatly enjoyed it. Uh, even though what everybody says is right. I know it's, they had to put in a lot of filler and stuff, but, but I liked it a lot. Uh, now we got the sequel here. We got The Desolation of Smog, and I was really shocked to find I really did enjoy it. <laughs> Which, I, I could be opening a can of worms with that. Uh, I, I don't know, uh, because I think the feedback seems to be that critics are... Eh, leaning towards not liking it where people are sort of eh, but leaning towards enjoying it because there's a lot more action and uh, uh, I think mainly that <laughs> a lot more action going on uh, but I found I really couldn't get into it uh, the first third I was liking fine um, it's them going through this forest and they come across all these spiders and that's sort of a fun scene. There's this guy that turns into like a bear and a man and it's, again, like that stuff's great. I mean, that stuff's a lot of fun. They come across these elves and there's this love triangle which you think I would hate and the actual, the actual triangle element I don't like. It's between Freckles Elf, uh, Orlando Bloom and this the other good-looking dwarf. <laughs> There's, like, only two good-looking dwarves. Um, and the romance between her and the dwarf is actually fine. The whole Orlando Blue thing seems really pointless. Um, but honestly, the romance between them is fine, but it's like, then she's chasing after him when she finds out he, like, has this poison and she has to save him, and it's like, you haven't known each other for that long. This is very Disney-ish. You know, suddenly, and I'm devoted, and I will follow him, and I will go across the lands, even when they know the great evil is coming, which we all know what that is. Um, so that was a little weird, but the actual talks between them, I thought, were fine. Uh, the going down with the barrels and the water and stuff, wonderful action scene. I mean, I was just, like, having a ball. I'm like, holy smokes, what, you know, all my friends and everything were saying were right. Like, this is really fun, and I'm really getting into this. But then they sort of go to this other town, and it's this dark, depressing place, and at first, they have a cool establishing shot, you think it's gonna be neat, it is for a few minutes, but there's a lot of time dedicated to this town, and just how rotten it is, and so forth, but it, okay, Lord of the Rings, they have a lot of rotten places and stuff like that. Well, what's the next place we're going to? Well, now we get to go inside a cave. Uh, just this big, dark, empty cave. Well, okay, that's, that's, uh, not the most exciting, but, oh, Gandalf's going somewhere, where is he going? Well, he's going to a very dark, gray, depressing-looking place where the evil that everybody knows what it is and what it's, you know, what's coming 
is coming, so, and there's a lot of build-up for it, and it's just cutting back and forth between, like, three or four subplots going on, and I was trying to ask myself, why did it bother me here and not in The Hobbit? Because I, I totally acknowledge The Hobbit had a lot of, uh, a lot of filler. Uh, I think what did it for me was that in the first film, even when there was filler, you were still focusing on this group. It, it, it's still this group that you're following through, and you're a part of that adventure. It's almost like you're, you're with the, the group going through it. Uh, here, they split up. I don't think you can do that in a story like this, because when you do that, in a story of... This is a smaller story. The Hobbit is a smaller story. And in the first film, I thought they got that okay. There, there was definitely some big action scenes, but it's still in this small group. Um, you know, even the, the big climax, you know, it's sort of going through this cave and all these things are chasing them and stuff. But it, it, it's a chase. It's not a big war, a big battle, you know, so it works okay. Uh, this was trying to do everything like it was a big, grand, epic battle that you can cut in between three or four things going on because it's so big and it's so grand, and it's not. It's not big and grand. It's not supposed to be big and grand. So when you see Bilbo talking to the dragon, which you get sick of really quickly, um, when you first see him, it's so cool, but then you just... He's on screen far too long, uh, and, and you just see him as an effect and not a character anymore. Um, you're watching him talk to this thing, and then you cut, what's going on with Gandalf? Well, okay, well, oh, oh, no kidding, uh, Sauron, you don't say, yeah. Okay, well, all right, l l let's come back to uh, the dragon. Wait, no, we got the, the love triangle thing going on there. Okay, well, can we move that along? To okay, well, now, back to the dragon. Wait, wait, we got these uh, orcs sneaking up, and, uh, well, at least it's the great big bad orc that's been chasing. Oh, wait, no, no, he's, uh, he's off with... Sauron, and, um, he sent his second-in-command to go after the doors because there's a lot of boiling blood between them. Apparently him and Legolas, because they have a stare-down, and the movie ends with him, like, chasing after the orc, and we don't know what happens, so it's like, ooh, I really want to know what's gonna happen there, and then finally we get back to the damn dragon. They say about five words, and then we come back to Gandalf, and then we come back to the orcs, and then we come and I don't care! <laughs> It's it's really fascinating. Uh, the, the the last half, honestly, I'd say almost the the last two thirds of this movie, and just just how phenomenally bored I was. Um, I really think the problems I have with this film, like the criticisms I'm making, are ones that everyone else made of the first film. But my big the big difference I have is that I really think by splitting it up, it made the story move so much slower, and you couldn't get the investment in there as much, or at least I couldn't, because uh, I know a lot of people saw it and really got into it, and uh, kudos, man, I mean, it's not like an awful film, I mean, it's not really bad, it just, it, it didn't grab me, I mean, like, all the, uh, all, all the conflicts, all the, the character building and stuff, with the exception of, of the, uh, of the she-elf, which I never get, you know, it's like, what, with the he-elf? Is that what they call the males? I, I don't get that. It's like saying, you know, if a woman comes in, hey, she-woman. Uh, whatever. Um, you know, between her and the dwarf, like, like, that's fine, you know, for the first bit. That was good character building. But after that, it, you get some stuff with, you know, the other dwarves, like, trying to find their way in, you know, and... Even when they're trying to get into this door that's, like, that's very similar to the, uh, when they're trying to get into the Mines of Moria, but whatever. I remember the Mines of Moria, like, looking very very blue and very pretty and nice and everything, and this is just gray. It's like, we have three or four different gray, dark, unpleasant settings that we're constantly cutting back and forth to, and that's not fun. Uh, and the big chase with the dragon at the end goes on forever because you can't look at anything. It's all in the dark. And even that's not too much fun because, you know, there's a scene where they get in these little, sort of like these roller coaster carts or something. I think, ooh, this is going to be like Temple of Doom or something. They're going to fly around. No, no, just the dragon sort of goes by and they're trying to turn on this great big machine that does some cool stuff. And the dragon just goes, oh, big speech about how nasty I am. And that that's all the dragon does. Like, like he's a boar. Um, so, 
yeah, I, 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 to me, I thought the first film, I, I really like Bilbo, I really like, um, whatever the main dwarf is, I'm forgetting his name, Uther, Luther, I don't know, I forget what it is. Uh, I really like Gandalf in the first one. Uh, I, I'm one of the few people I actually like that conversation between, uh, Gandalf and, uh, Saruman and, uh, uh, Gladiol and stuff. I, I like that conversation because, again, I, I like... I like seeing this background. I like seeing these characters. It seemed like there there wasn't that much of the characters working off each other. Like I said, a little bit at the end, or, or before the big fight with the dragon, um, you know, Bilbo sort of talks to the dwarves, and that's a nice scene. But how long is this? Like two and a half hours? And then you have the scene with the, uh, with, with the elf and the dwarf, and then a little bit in the city w with this family that we set up, but... It seemed to me like they were just trying to make this great, big, grand story out of something that's really small. And I know everybody says that with the first one, I, I know that. But to me, it still felt like a small story, you know, that, that has some big things happening. But when you compare it to Lord of the Rings, it's not very big. And they kept it to this one group. It's this one adventure. It's a journey. It's an unexpected journey. This one they're trying to make into an epic. And it, it for me, it didn't work. Uh, but I know a lot of people that really liked it and really got into it. Um, so, like I say, if you do, it's not like a god-awful flick, it, it just, it didn't do anything for me, I, I just thought it was kind of boring. Uh, it, with the exception of the first third, I, I got into that okay. So, um, yeah, like I said, that's about it, just a quick follow-up, because I know everyone's asking, like, what'd you think of Hobbit, what'd you think of Hobbit, so, those are my thoughts, I'm sorry if, uh, they don't match yours, <laughs> you know, that's just, that's opinions. Um, and... Yeah, let me know in the comments what commentaries you like to see me do, and also, uh, hopefully you can go and see me in Michigan. Hopefully, I'll see you guys there. Take care.